Hi YouTube, my name's Dave, and I'm building a home theater. Um, this is going to be the first video in a long segment. I'm going to document from beginning to end how I build a home theater, and a lot of it is DIY. But uh, so far you can see I'm getting pretty close to done, and I figure it's time to start editing up some of my videos so you can see through the process. I've been at this for many months now, but um, some of the videos really suck. Remember, I'm just some guy with a camera. Um, some of the videos I think are pretty good, but uh, stay tuned and uh, this is the first video. Enjoy, and remember, if you like it, great, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. But uh, so be sure to subscribe because this is what it's gonna look like, or when it's getting close to done. It's, I think it's coming out pretty damn sweet, so um, stay, stay tuned and watch all my videos and hopefully you learn something about building a, your own DIY home theater. Enjoy. Hey, welcome back. Um, in case you're wondering, Virtual Dave Allity. My last name is Virtue, first name is Dave. Just made kind of sense to switch them around. And I work in technology and computers and stuff like that. So that's how the name Virtual Dave Allity kind of came about and kind of became my nickname, kind of a moniker. But uh, anyway, I've been working over here in my basement, building myself some extra office space because I got a lot of projects going on. I tinker a lot, uh, work on some electronics. I build movie poster light boxes. And uh, I'm like, you know something? I really don't have a great home cinema or home theater. And uh, I got a decent one up in my living room. But what I've decided to do is, uh, since I've been working here and building this by myself, well, I'm like, you know, well, by the way, I'm gonna put a TV, big TV over here so I can uh, work and watch TV, uh, listen to some news, play the stock market, uh, catch up on my soap operas, <laughs> not. <laughs> so I got the idea to turn this area, oh, by the way, I've got a killer basement that's just totally, totally awesome to be a home theater. So I've already got the bar. This was built by the previous owner who was the original owners of the house. Uh, they were the builders as well. They put a wonderful, wonderful bar down here. And their intentions were, to make this a home theater, but they never did. Well, you know, I have finally decided to do it. But I got some pushback from my wife, <laughs> which most of us guys do, you know, when it comes to the budget. So my wife has challenged me to do it as a DIY. I cannot hire a video company to come in or a uh, home audio company to come in and build this for me and plug everything in. I gotta do it all by myself, which isn't a problem. I'm a really handy guy. As you saw over building that office, uh, I did that all by myself. And uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of help because there's some things like uh, doing texture. Hey, let me show you. Um, here in Colorado, we have these textured walls and I really like them, but it's not like skim coating. Now I can skim coat a wall, no problem, but this texture is kind of an art, especially when you have to re-blow it. So I will have to hire somebody to come in and do it. But I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it really, really inexpensively. Now, let me go over the rules of the challenge. And I've listed them here on my 135 inch screen. Let's back up, back up, tripping over stuff, construction debris. <laughs> now that's 135. I was gonna do 150 and some people would say, well, that's a huge wall. You got a nine foot ceiling, put in 150 inch or maybe even go bigger. I want to do some neat ornate stuff around it. I haven't finalized my plans yet. So, you know, maybe some columns around it or something. Who knows? Not 100% sure. But if you have some ideas, go down to the comment section and tell me what you think I should do with this. And uh, I will definitely take all your suggestions into consideration. But let me get to the DIY and how I'm going to do this inexpensively, as cheap as possible, and uh, hopefully have something that would be like a $30,000, $40,000 system for five to $10,000. That would be awesome. That is my ultimate goal. So one of the ways I'm gonna do that is build it. I'm really handy, got lots of tools. So if I can build it myself, man, that saves incredible amount of labor. And uh, 
Another great thing is I go out and check um, recycle places. There's like, for example, here in the Denver area, there's a place called Restore. Now, Restore, people go there and drop everything off. They drop off old dishwashers, washing machines, sofas, furniture, but they also drop off construction uh, uh, materials. They'll drop off two by fours, lights, switches, wires, tools. My goodness, everything there is so dirt cheap. I love it. So you can find buildings that were demolished and they drop off all of their stuff there. So trim, walls, <laughs> boy, you can save a ton of money by going to one of those places. And as a result, I will build it myself. Now, anything else? Well, I gotta go to Home Depot and buy the two by fours and some of the sheetrock and maybe some of the wire because I really don't want to pull used wire to a uh, you know thousand dollar uh, Marantz receiver or two thousand uh, dollar amplifier or uh, speakers that cost five grand. Really don't want to use used wire, but in those cases, I'm gonna do new. Now, used is a great way. Craigslist is my best friend. Now, you can find so much stuff on Craigslist. For example, speakers, receivers, amplifiers, you name it, it's on there. People are very impulsive. They go out and buy something, and they find that they can't afford it anymore, they need the cash. Those are wonderful opportunities to get things really, really inexpensively. Now, for example, I'm gonna let you in on a little, uh, uh, one of my future videos, but uh, that's a Klipsch amp. Those are Klipsch speakers. I've got a whole bunch of Klipsch stuff, which would typically cost around, I'd say four, four and a half thousand dollars. I got it all for under a grand. And uh, got my center there, got my other one over here. I'll do a, a video on that in another episode. But uh, right now we're just talking about saving money, doing it yourself. Now let's talk about bartering. I've got a lot of skills. There's a lot of things I can offer. One of them is I build killer websites. I'm a web developer, it's not full time, but I do it for friends, people that I like. Um, I really don't like doing it for a living, but I will do it for somebody who wants to barter with me. For example, my buddy Chris, who owns Color Fast Coatings. I built a killer website for him. If you wanna check it out, it's colorfastcoatings.com. And if you need a painter and you're in the Denver area, I gotta give him a plug, he's really, really good. So. Check out that website, check out Chris, and barter wherever you can. So if you need a painter to come in, if you need a sheet rocker to come in, if you have something to offer, barter. Or if you got an old car in the driveway they don't use anymore, hey, say I'm gonna barter my old car. If you come in and uh, sheet rock everything up for me and paint it up, fantastic, nice and easy. Now, the fourth way how I'm gonna do it is frequent flyer miles. Now, not everybody has frequent flyer miles, but from a lot of my business travels, um, a lot of my corporate purchases, I end up with frequent flyer miles. What I've done is I've converted those to Amazon gift cards. And I'm gonna spend those on Amazon, specifically for the purpose of doing my home theater. Because I can't get everything used. For example, I was looking for a projector. Now the projectors are not in great shape on the used market. Very often the bulbs are reaching end of life. So you gotta buy it and then you gotta replace the bulb and that drives up the cost. That puts you almost at the cost of a new one. So I'm probably gonna buy a new projector. And there are some really decent 1080p's out there right now. I really want a 4K, but they're still kind of new. The reviews are a little mixed. Some people love them, some people hate them. So I think I'm just gonna go with a 1080p for now. They're about 500 bucks for a really good one like an Optima or ViewSonic. Uh, the Epsons are now under $700. So. I'm probably going to do something like that. And uh, the screen. Well, trying to find a used screen really isn't exactly that easy, especially a big one like this, 135 inches, that's going to be acoustically transparent because I'm going to build a false wall here and I'm going to put a stage here where my speakers will be behind the screen and it's just going to blast everything right at us right through the transparent screen. The one I'm gonna get is about $500. So trying to find a used one with those exact specifications is hard, so I'm going to get that new, and that is what the frequent flyer miles and Amazon are for. So that is going to keep me from having to reach in my pocket or take cash out of the bank or put on my credit card. It's going to basically be savings neutral. And that is another great thing. 
So I don't know how many freaking flyer miles I'm gonna burn up doing this, but as long as I don't have to take money out of the bank, it meets the qualifications of the DIY cheap O challenge. Now, let me go over a couple things I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna have to build a wall because this space is just weird. I don't know why the builders did this, but I'm gonna tear a hole in that wall, put in a door, and it's gonna be uh, part of the uh, furnace room, which is on the other side. And this is then gonna be walled off. And then the room, let me back up here, is going to be symmetrical. So I'll be able to have two smooth walls going down the main part of the theater. And uh, up here, we are going to put some soffits going all the way around. And uh, then I'll be able to hide wires, uh, electrical. Um, I'm gonna put a bulkhead up here all the way in the back. And that's going to house the projector. So it's gonna be kind of hidden. I hope it's gonna work out. We'll see how it goes. But uh, stay tuned. You know, uh, I know they said this video is gonna suck, so if you wanna give me a thumbs down, that's quite all right, because I think this video sucks too. Um, but if you do kind of like it, and you wanna stay tuned, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button, and you'll see what I'm gonna be doing over the next few weeks, and you'll see as the project continues, because I'm gonna show you almost every single step of the way what I do here to make this a true DIY home theater system, and home cinema, and, how I'm going to try to do it for as little money as possible. So thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for my, uh, my next videos.